India's economy has been suffering lately. While in the past, its GDP was growing by over 7% per year, that number has gone down to 5% this year. That is a six-year low for India. So what is going on? Well, there are ex external factors like the trade war between China and the United States, which is impacting the manufacturing sector and exports in India. But also there are internal factors that are taking place. For example, the banking sector has been going through a crisis which started last year by a major default of a non-bank financial institution. After that default, a lot of weaknesses in the shadow banking sector, but also the regular banking sector, came to the surface. For example, regulations are now well enforced and government supervision of Indian banks is extremely weak. These issues in the banking sector have led to a liquidity crunch, decreased domestic demand and household savings. In the auto sector, car sales have gone down a lot and tons of people have lost their job. The real estate sector is also feeling the crunch. Now, what has the Indian government tried to do to try to boost the economy, to try to get it out of this rut? Well, first of all, the Reserve Bank of India has cut interest rates five times in a row already this year. But unfortunately, the transmission mechanism between policy rates and actual bank rates is pretty weak in India. So the government has been also looking at fiscal stimulus. They announced a few days ago that they will put in place a new corporate tax cut that should decreased auto prices, but also make India more attractive for foreign direct investment. And then other measures to try to make the banking sector more resilient, for example, to try to consolidate certain banks together, should also be put in place in the future. Now, one concern still remains. Modi's government promised that this year they would decrease the budget deficit to 3.3% of Indian GDP. However, they are not on track to reach that goal. And now that they're putting in place new corporate tax cut, that goal just seems impossible. So India will have to decide. Try to reach the deficit goals or try to stimulate an economy that has been performing very poorly this year.